When you are playing doubles, it's important to play it strong, but more importantly, to play it smart. In this video, I'll be teaching you strategies and tactics so that you and your partner can have an edge on court. Hi, this is Coach Kenya Sunshan and welcome to Badminton ABCs, where I teach you how to level up your game and all things badminton. So do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. When playing doubles, you cannot solely rely on moving fast or hitting it hard because there's two of you to consider. It is important to have the right strategy and tactics to execute it with your partner. In this way, you can exploit the weak spot of your opponents while strengthening and taking care of your own offense and defense. Tip number one. Majority of the serves in doubles you will notice will be short serves. About 85-90% to 90 is short serve. Why is that? Well, simply because you don't want to lift the serve and be in a defensive position. So majority of the time, it will be a good short serve. But watch out also for those serves and make sure that it's not a high short serve. Because then it will be even more difficult to take that attack. Tip number two, in doubles, you try to keep your shots low. You try to press down as much as you can because you want your opponents to lift the shuttle so that you will be in an offensive attacking position. Tip number three, flick serves is also considered a strategy for doubles. So make sure that when you do your flick serves, that you are deceiving your opponent that you will be doing another serve. That you will probably um, pretend that you're going to do the short serve and then you suddenly flick. Then the flick becomes very effective. What happens if you catch your opponent with a good flick serve when they're off guard? They could easily miss it and you automatically get the point. Or, it's also possible that their return shot won't be as good. You can anticipate, wait for it, and be in an offensive mode. Tip number four. Straight smashes will definitely be stronger. Of course, it's much um, shorter. Like when you lift it on your side, be sure to be ready for the straight line. And your partner can take care of the middle and the cross-court side of the court. So watch out for straight smashes because they will be faster and stronger. Tip number five, combination of a soft and hard attacks are really, really good. It's a great strategy to catch your opponent. The key here is to know when to make a soft attack and when to make it strong. So again, it depends on your opponents. You will notice if they're standing way back, then you can attack it softer. But if they're in an off position, then you can attack it stronger because it will become more effective. So the key here is to immediately know what types of opponent you have. To also be able to see your opponents on the corner of your eye to know how they are positioned. So you will know where you will attack and what kind of attack you will be using. Tip 
number six. No matter how strong a smash is, you can always return it. That's what I tell my players. How do you do that? You have to know where your opponent loves to smash. Some opponents love to smash straight. Some loves to smash cross. Some loves to smash straight to your body. So the key is anticipating it. You anticipate, you try. Anticipation doesn't always mean you are always correct, but that's fine. If you make a mistake, you anticipate on the wrong side, and it's on the other side, then just move quick and hit it. Hit it back, okay? Because you can save anything and everything as long as you move quickly and do your best to return it. Tip number seven, taller players will have sharper attacks. So when you come across taller players, since their attacks are sharper, you can actually wait for them and put your racket a little lower, slightly closer to your knees or your calves when you're waiting for a defense. So when they're taller, the angle is definitely sharper. Tip number eight, if you are not 100% sure that the shot is out, do not leave it. Hit it back at all costs, especially in tournaments and especially if it's a crucial point. Like if the game is already ending or if it's like really close and tight because um, you don't want to give away any point. So if you're not 100% sure, do not leave it. Now, a tip that, an extra tip that I can give you on that is that if you feel like it's going out, position yourself as though you're standing like the way I am looking at the camera. Like for, for example, the shuttle is coming down here in front of me and I suddenly realize that it's in, I can still hit it from the underhand and return it. So always stand in a position where at the last minute, you can still hit the shuttle if you make a mistake of thinking that it was out. Tip number nine, help each other out as partners. You know, sometimes we play with people um, who are not familiar with, you know, we just play games with different people. It's okay. Help each other out. If you feel like it, uh, the service is short, shout short. If you feel like it's out, then shout out. In that way, you help each other because those are easy points. So do your best to get those easy points as well. Tip 
number 10. Do not ever feel as though you've already gotten the point if it's still ongoing. So that means no matter how strong your smash is, um, even if you're trying to kill it from the front and you feel like it's a sure point, do not stop. Always be in a ready position. Because sometimes, by some chance, you actually attack it where their racket is, where your opponent's racket is, and they suddenly return it. Okay? Or sometimes, shuttles can be crawling over the net and you think there's no way they're going to return it. But then they do. So, those will be wasted points if you're not ready and you thought it was already done. So, never, never feel like you've already gotten the point unless you already did. Keep practicing those double strategies so they become second nature to you and your partner. If you want to know more about doubles positioning or rotation, watch my previous video. Now don't forget to subscribe, level up your game, and be the next smashing success!